You guys ready for a review? Let's check out these geysers from Sheds. Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Chris, and today we're going to be taking a look at a fog machine. That's right, a regular smoke machine. Not a regular smoke machine, I take that back. These are from our friends at Sheds. They're under 150 bucks, and they're geysers. Here is what we're talking about right here. Under $150, geysers. So they emit the smoke straight up with 24 9 watt LEDs. Red, green, blue. You have your 1500 watt heater here, a reservoir for your water based, water based fog juice. And then you have DMX control of six channels. Six channel and DMX controllable. Right here, you have your menu so you can set your channel. You can run through this thing and turn on some lights and run the smoke, I believe, if you want. But um, I don't think anybody will do that. It also comes with a little tiny remote control. The little tiny remote control looks like this right here. We have this little tiny trap door and we have a red, green, blue, a red, green, blue and a fog button and a little antenna. Who knows where that antenna has been, but we have a little antenna. Um, this does not come with a battery and it doesn't say what kind of battery it is in the manual. I believe it's an A23. So AMJ, got it, A23. Um, it also comes with a DMX cable and a. Um, this is, if you do decide to use the remote control, you have a spot to plug that in right over here. So. Boop, boop, DMX in, out, IEC, power on, power off. But these are pretty cool. So if you guys use sparkulators, if you've used these before, they create a cool effect. It's good for um, different type of stage effects. If you do any kind of stage shows, it's cool for introductions, stuff like that. You do have to be aware, of course, if your venue allows you to use it. That once again, though, they do use a water-based, which might be better um, for some of your venues. I've actually, just in case, pulled out one of my smoke detectors for a minute. All right, I got another one on the other side of the room. I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about the one right here. But we're gonna test this out in just a second. And just to let you know, the reservoirs are right here. They do suggest that obviously after not using it for a bit, empty these out, run some vinegar and water through them. Um, the one thing I don't like right away is that there are screws on this. So emptying the reservoir is gonna be a little bit of a pain in, pain in the butt. So I'd probably wind up taking one screw off and leaving it off, or maybe even both. Um, and then that's all I got for that. So we're gonna put some juice in these things and we're gonna fire them up. Now, people use different types of um, haze or uh, rather fog juice for these types of things. Now I am going to be using this Essential Values DJ Party fog juice, medium density effects. So it's supposed to be a little bit longer lasting. I was kind of going off of a thought of why not use it and let it hang around a little bit to actually enhance the rest of my lights. So that's the kind of idea I had. A lot of people will want for these types of things, one that dissipates super quickly so that it goes up in a big white cloud and is gone. It's one way to do it, but we're gonna try it with this, just to let you know. And you're gonna see that I'm gonna just take the reservoir off on camera two. Inside, this inside's more fun. That ought to do just fine. Now I do think they take about 10 minutes to warm up. So you're gonna to wanna to head turn them on when you, not even before you're ready to use them, you wanna turn them on. And I think that as they warm up, you will start to see just a little bit of smoke. And the first one I had, when I turned it on and started doing it, did make some clunky noises, but it just had to get some fluid pumping through. And once it did, noises were gone. So I think if you can see this one down here, hopefully we don't blow nothing up. Hopefully I don't pop a circuit in my house. It's already on. It's already on AA01. All right, just an FYI. I set this thing off once and uh, my entire basement is filled and my second alarm did go off with the water-based haze, uh, water-based fog fluid rather, but um, this stuff is hanging around. <laughs> so I did mention it earlier, but it's hanging around, but these look super cool. I'm gonna set them off one more time and then I'm going to um, turn them off because I do think that some fog continues to slowly, slowly dissipate from them. I'm gonna show you real quick though. 
the colors. So I'm gonna turn off my light here. So practically dark here, all right? So we have our, um, we have our blue, we have our green. I do have one up light, purple in the back, just to let you know. But we have our red or green, the combination of our blue, we can make them purple and match our background. Very nice. And then we obviously have our, uh, we can make our own colors here. We can go all the way up. We can do our strobe. We have a strobe channel. That's cool. And then we have a, one that does whatever it is it does. It's a couple different effects. So we have fades, which you can see here. And then we have the kind of snap full. It goes full on turns off and pops into another color, and then we have just color changing. So how would you use these things? Um, you can use them in a number of ways. The way that I would probably like to do is actually make them look kind of like orangey fire. And doing a little haze, super cool. And you can do these low, and you can do them high. Okay. But as you can see, that's a lot of haze with too much. That's a lot of fog with a couple of machines. So that's all I'm gonna do in here. I might take them outside and show you, but these are cool. I gotta shut one down. Um, so I went ahead and shut both of these down because there's so much fog in my basement right now that it's ridiculous. Um, and I'm hoping the rest of my house alarms don't go off because we'll get in trouble. But we'll get back to you in a minute. These things are cool. You probably didn't even know I was back here. <laughs> Just to say, furthermore, um, I went through three different fog juices before finding the correct one, which is Froggy's Quick Dissipating. So Quick Blast, I think it's called, but um, I'll show you a picture of that later, but this stuff works good. Hang time's only supposed to be about 15 seconds, so if it went up inside and hit the walls and kind of came down pretty quickly and disappeared, but if it jumps up and hits the alarm, it's probably gonna go off, but it does fall and dissipate quick. So if the alarm's far in a different room, you'll probably be okay, but no guarantees on that. I really like these, check them out, sheds. Um, but you know what? I'll see you guys later. <laughs>